Welcome to the game. Alright, on the table today we have Joan of Arc, which we are going to unbox, show you what's in here. Now, the Time of Legends Joan of Arc is was a Kickstarter um, from Mythic Games, and basically it's the Hundred Years War. But what they've done is they've taken all of the myths and legends and made them all part of the history. So not only do you have the French and the British and the, the armies, but you also have werewolves and demons and you know the devil himself at, at, at one point. So this is the base game. Uh, 14 plus, about 45 to 90 minutes, two to four players. This box probably weighs 15, 20 pounds easy. It's massive. All right, we open the box. We have a ton of dice. Um, each one of these will do something different, I'm sure. We'll look at those later. You have different colored cubes. All right. Lots of cards in here. This box is really well packed. Um, lots of cards. Like I said, I've not played the game before, so I don't know everything about these yet. Really interested in just getting the box open. Showing you what's in it so we can learn how to play this thing. Let's move those. All right, in our first little box here. This is core box P202. This looks like, I think, a building. That's the church, and inside the church is the smaller buildings. That's a good idea. More packaged. Ooh. Ooh, very nice little buildings. And then a larger inn, I believe. Very cool. Alright. Go box D102. This is. Full. And even comes with uh, the decals for the armies. Find it out in plastic. That's cool. Two sheets of those. give you a size reference to these these things are tiny this is 15 millimeter scale I think uh, so these guys are tiny but and they have a lot of detail on them let's see I believe this is Joan herself. I could be completely off there, I'm guessing here. No, that doesn't look like Joan after all. But, like I said, I have not played the game yet. Very detailed for such a tiny scale. But, this is just one there's 230 minis that come in. Now, a bunch of these are in bags. But you get a whole bunch of these things. Alright, let's take that one out of the way. 
Let's see what's in the other boxes in here. So next, now this is ah, so that you can tell your army is apart. You basically put your bases in there, red and blue, makes it easy to tell who's playing which. Uh, more for individuals like your heroes, you use the little ones. There's all the bases. There's a lot crammed in there. There's all the bases. More. More bases. And it's one of the models, so get that out of the way. Right, let's take a look at him. This guy's very cool. Lots and lots of detail on him. These models are just outstanding. Unicorn. Now, you know, it's scenario based game, it's a narrative driven uh, scenario. and wagons. <laughs> Very cool. Um, but there's also a battle mode where you can, all of the models have a point value assigned and you know you can build your army how you see fit to take on your point. Our last major box in here. Terrain, so trees pre colored, that's kind of cool. Um, some shrubs, rocks, and a well. Got some uh, looks like walls. Of detail on some sort of a simple rock wall and to scale uh, there you go and I have those about even on my finger back right there so very cool uh, and then um, defenses stakes Now, I think the, with all the weight down at the bottom is going to be the rule book. And the rule book will have, of course, all of your rules, but this is full color. Gorgeous rule book. That's all the minis you're getting right there. That is a ton. The Jungle Bark has a black hand. I see that. There she is. There's Joan. And all of her glory right there. It's very cool. Very, very cool. Explain what the different cards are. models to different tiles this rule book is available online for free from mythic games in the download section uh, i've been kind of reading through that artwork in here is just outstanding
40 pages, 36, 36 pages from cover to cover. And you also have your scenario book. Now you can play the narrative campaign, like I said, or you can play in battle mode where you just choose your armies and, and play, but it gives you everything you need to set up. And we're going to look at the tiles here in just a moment. There's a bunch of scenarios in here. Let's see. Historical Joan of Arc. So we're going to paint it of some sort. Our player aids. A couple of these. And also known as the cheat sheet. And where the mass amount of the weight is, is all of the cart board down here at the bottom. And there's a lot of that. And they have our main playing boards. Land tiles, which they're all numbered and you can see down here at the bottom. They do have numbers, and when you're putting out the scenario, it tells you which ones to put out. They are double-sided. And you get a number of those, plus the other tokens that you're going to need to play the game. These tiles are bigger than I actually anticipated them being, so that's really cool. I don't know why I just thought smaller scale. These tiles would be smaller, but these tiles are... Really big. Sky tiles, um, those I know are for flying creatures when you actually use those. That coloring is impressive. This fire is looking just incredible. Um, inside of one of the buildings, so you can actually occupy the buildings, go into them, the player boards, different battlements, things like that. Take like another sheet of the same. All right, that is the main box of Joan of Arc. Now, there are many others that came with this first wave of shipping, those being the super exclusives, Unleashed Hell, which has the devil in it, um, the dragon himself, the reliquary box has all of the extra pieces. Um, there is the Battle of the Cravant, which has some new new scenarios and some new cards. And the Plunder Box, which is just a brown box, which I don't know exactly what's in that yet. So uh, we'll save that for another video, but thank you very much for watching. I uh, hope you enjoyed this and uh, let's get some Joan of Arc on the board.